Uh, right, item 12. Councillors, um, this item turns up here after a six hour discussion the other day, uh, which concluded uh, on a very positive note. It oh. turns up here because of the fact that technically we need to uh, sign this off as per resolutions. <coughs> Given the fact that we had a six hour discussion, councillors, I will yep. move it. Second. Second. Uh, and then I would just like, quite frankly, to put it so that we can oh, get on to the next matter. Oh, can Councillor I, George, can you want to speak? Can we take some separate, please? Um, I don't want to vote for E. Right. I want to... Um, I just want to raise a couple of issues. Um, one is is the parking issue on and congestion on North Cape Point and uh, how that's going to be um, can, uh, managed and alleviated. Because I think that's an issue. Councillor that George, I don't want to go into a very long no, I'm not discussion going, I'm just, about I'm that, just that, that issue. I'm just that's as, just as far as I want to take that point. Yep. Uh, the, the next point is that there are certainly a lot of uncertainties with this project, it and just, um, it just... it's said that the whole of life, the whole of life cost was fifty million dollars. Well, I think that there's. Um, I don't know if that's correct. I don't know if that really stacks up from what we what we're aware of. So I think that that's an area that. Uh, we need some. Uh, I think we need some feedback because we we put we moved this motion firstly or this issue in relation to the or motion in relation to this resolved back in December 2013, and we never heard back until this month, really officially. And I think that uh, that's far too long. Uh, this has has had a life of its own. This project, and I think that. Um, this council, it's a big project, it's got political sensitivities and uh, we need to keep abreast of it and I think it, I want some certainty that it will be, re be reported back uh, on a re regular basis to uh, a committee of this council and not just left uh, as it is because it's, I don't know what the, what the time frame is for completion but I do believe it should be uh, reported back to a committee of this council in the meantime at some stage. Okay. So. Um Agreed. Just give us an idea of reporting. Chris, will you second this? Yeah. Right. So the resolutions from finance and performance, uh, one of them, I think it was C from memory, said that we will report back as part of the annual plan process um, to amend the long-term plan. And that's where some of the details that Councillor Wood is asking about costs will um, come forward. So there's a clear um, time frame for that. We are also offered to um, have a workshop with councillors once we know more details about the deal, about how it would operate. Um, that would be before it's finally signed. Um, and in terms of further time frames, I'm estimating two years before um, it's open. So there's a, in my report, there was actually a clear timetable <coughs> about what would happen, when it would happen, um, all going well. Very good. Right, Councillor Ross. <coughs> I was just happy to move if they oh, me to move. Okay, them. you can move and Chris, you can see. Is that all right? Yeah, that's good. Uh, right, Councillor Linda. May I just speak to E, Mr yes, Chairman? Yes, absolutely. Um, I've got some real concerns about this, and not least another letter to the editor this morning of a woman complaining that cycles would be on the sky path. And so we're getting to the point where a fantastic idea, absolutely spearheaded by the cycling community, First, we'll share it with walkers, fine. Now we've got dogs, and then now we've got people complaining that even cyclists who actually have taken huge risks, spent a huge amount of work to have it as a cycle path, um, it just gets to the point where now it won't even be welcoming for cyclists. And so I'm really concerned about this. And, and thinking about it beyond our conversation last week, we're going to have children, and great, but they're going to be in push chairs. They're going to be... At, eye level to dogs, strapped in their um, push chairs. They're going to be on scooters and all of those sorts of things. And I just think the whole thing starts to be a deadly mess, um, as well as being quite um, scary for cyclists. So I can't support E. I do support the dog community, of course. But we get to the point where something was, was the initial um, point of it was to have cyclists going across the bridge has now become a really crowded, dangerous space. And so, and, and it's not even supported by NZTA. So for me, it just comes down to real common sense. You know, we've only got so much space. We can't keep making it wider and wider. And so for me, I'll support everything else, but I can't support E. So I'd like if you'd put that separately, Mr. Chairman. Yeah, or, or I can just note my 
it might be easier. I can I just think, note. Um, I, I think. I think that's. I don't know. Idea. Support E, but I really yeah. do think it's come to the point where it's becoming a bit of a farce. Yeah. A cycling piece of infrastructure now becomes too crowded for cyclists. Thank you. Through the chair, can I just say E is only support. It doesn't say mm, yeah. support but to investigate. Yeah. And I can't even support that because <laughs> I just think it's futile. Thank yeah. you. Uh, hey, look, and that. It's um, totally nonsense. Yeah, yeah that, look, that's 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 good. And one of the things, what order? Just just remind ourselves, we, we discuss so much in that six-hour discussion. Um, and, and this, and this the, I, well, that's, uh, never mind. Um, and uh, so in that discussion, these things were considered. The only reason why I was comfortable in supporting it is that in the end, it will depend on NZTA. We know there are potentially logistical issues there. So, Councillor Linda, um, you, you have noted um, you know, your opposition to that, and that's good. I think that's probably the best way to deal with it, considering how we dealt with this in the last week. I think that's fair. Councillor Dick, last question. Yeah, last I've, I've, it's not a good question. Well, well it is a question. Yeah. Uh, Mr Chairman, I wonder if it's possible to, uh, to um, but between the time now and, and the uh, debate and, and, and drafting of the annual plan, I wonder if it's possible to uh, gain some political oversight uh, on this project, which is, um, has been somewhat controversial. And I wonder if it uh, would be helpful to get some political oversight, and I was thinking particularly of perhaps uh, Councillor Wood and Councillor Darby uh, in, in uh, conjunction with the, uh, uh, with the Chief Executive uh, so that we that we can be assured that it has have some political oversight. Is that possible? Yeah. Councillor Dick, I, I think that we don't need any recommendation there at all. I know Councillor Chris and Councillor George have given this extraordinary well, political oversight. Yeah, no, and so I, I you're asking I, the CEO to, to include them in uh, the working team, and I suspect the CEO would be very happy to do that. Okay, well, that's good. And if I have that assurance, having that assurance is comforting. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Yep, can happy I, to do can that. I, Mr. Mayor, uh, hang on. I point uh, I've out just, the I've just two, got two sides to that bridge, and I want to be involved as well. Thank you. Yeah, yeah there we go. Mm. Um, and that's fair enough, too. Uh, Councillor Ross. Yeah, I, I'm quite happy to support all of these, and um, E is just a recommendation, and it'll come down to NZTA, it's no question. I think we should um, all reflect a little bit, and those of us who haven't been to New Plymouth to see the um, coastal walkway there should actually have a break down there and have a look at what happens there. Admittedly, it's three metres wide all the way around, but every anything that can move goes on that whole walkway, and that's the whole idea. The whole intent of NZTA subsidies of cycleways and walkways is active transportation. That's the terminology. And that could be anyone, whether you've got a dog or you're on a bike or you're walking or whatever. It's not just a cycleway. None of these things around Auckland are just cycleways. You know, they're a shared path for active <laughs> transportation, and that's the whole idea to get everyone up and running. So just to give you the example, the Dofo Coastal Walkway, which has got three kilometres out in Kelston now, it's amazing the use that's been there, that you see people that basically don't do a lot of exercise, which arguably could be me as well, um, walking around, cycling with their dogs, pushing their children or whatever. So I think we need to just try and welcome everyone and anything onto any of our entities. So please support this. Very good. OK. Uh, now I've got Councillor Kim. Oh. <coughs> Mr Mayor, I just wanted some comfort around the D, support free access uh, for children under five years of age. Uh, I suppose I just want some assurance that if this, in the Chief Executive's negotiations of the necessary agreements, if this shifts the underwrite, as officers indicated it might, uh, if it shifts the underwrite um, considerably, uh, I just want assurances that the Chief Executive uh, understands that this is a blue skies wish from this council uh, in principle uh, rather than a binding uh, instruction for him to deliver on. Yeah. Does Cam have conflict that, that with that is, particular it, conflict? It's sort of a <laughs> mistake. And, a walk from Rodney. and I would suspect that once the final workings come Children's back, that will be very played. much part of, of your further discussion and decision making. Well, it won't be you or me, Cam, but 
it'll be uh, what the, the the council at that time will consider. We'll just be writing letters to the editor. Yeah, Mr. that's May. right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We can do some joint ones. Okay, how about that? Local board We remember back in the days, um, Marguerite. Um, yeah, when do you think this might sort of come back uh, post negotiations? You know. I'll throw the chair. Um, it will have to come back for annual plan oh, there next you go. year, definitely. Right. Well, this year, you mean? Well, yes, this financial year. Yeah. So, so it'll be sort of October, November, really, won't it? Hey? There you go. Maybe January. Depends on the new mayor. There you go. Depends. He or she will have to get the feet under the table real fast and go for it. Okay. Um, I think we've pretty much done that. Um, so shall we, we move it? I'll move it. All those in favour say aye. 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 Against passed. And um, noted uh, one or two uh, concerns. Can we record, I, as I said, at uh, the Finance Committee, Mr. Yes, Mayor, I've can we that. record that as unanimous? Yeah, yep. Yeah. Right. Um, Councillor Chris, thank you very much for that. Now, councillors, we move on to